Oh, you are in Halongbay again? Yes. And are you with your parents? Yes. Yes? Wow, it's so beautiful. Okay, so what are you doing there? I just go to beach. With your family? Yes. <laughs> okay, have you eaten your dinner? Not yet, but I will eat. What? Um, I not eat my um, dinner yet. Oh, oh, okay. So, what did you do earlier? Did you swim? No. No? Um, I forgot to bring the clothes, so I cannot swim. Oh, you forgot to bring your clothes, so you can swim. Yeah. yeah? Oh, okay. So, let's start. Okay. Okay, so this is our lesson for tonight. We are going to talk about how to relieve stress, right? Right? Okay. Okay, um, for example, you are very tired and stressed because you have, you have a lot of paperwork. Yes. So, what are the things that you usually do? Yes. What are the things that you usually do to re to relieve your stress? Mm, is uh, relax and watching some funny movie. Oh, watch um watch something funny. Yes. Like um comedy videos? Mm, no. Like what? Mm, some bounce. Oh, okay. So now we are going to talk about this one. How to relieve stress. Okay? The, the word is bigger. Okay, for a moment. Relieving stress. Okay, so please read this uh, for a moment. Okay, please read this one. Uh, yeah, I learned it all. A good way to reduce stress after a foolish argument with other person. I left to go to the store. I was so angry I couldn't see straight. On the way, I passed a donut shop and immediately stopped in. I I bought I bought a dozen donuts. Took them back to the store and guide them to the clerk of their coffee break. My anger was immediately spent. Split. And I feel good of, wait, I feel good the rest of my day. Just what the first time I ever committed to promise a random act of kindness. Since then I do I have it a habit. When I get upset or angry, I change my mood by doing something so for generations. I'm totally unexpected. Okay, say generous. Generous and unexpected. The result is uh, magical. Okay, so last year I learned of a good way to reduce stress. After a fierce argument with another person, I left to go to the store. I was so angry, I couldn't see straight. On the way, I passed a donut shop and impulsively stopped in. I bought a dozen donuts, took them back to the store, and gave them to the clerks for their coffee break. My anger was immediately dispelled, and I felt good the rest of the day. That was the first time I ever performed a random act of kindness. Since then, I made it habit. When I get upset or angry, I change my mood by doing something thoughtful, generous, and totally expect unexpected. The, result, the results are magical. So, um, this, um, when the speaker is stressed or tired, um, he, hello? I'm still here. Okay, so, when the speaker are tired or, or, um, stressed, 
um, he usually buy some things or some food and gave it to the um, to the people like um, what he did at the donut shop, right? He bought a dozen of donuts and gave them to those clerk, right? Okay. Yes, and um, he felt very happy, right? Yes, and it changes um, his mood. Okay, so I have a question. Can you imagine why the writer felt good? Mm, because he was help someone. Because um, the writer um, or the speaker helps someone, right? Yes. Yeah, so that's the reason why he felt um, good. Okay. Um, do you think it's easy to perform kind um, kind acts for people, especially for strangers? Yeah, I think with some, with some people it's very hard because um, the communicate um, skill is not good. Like, um, can you give me some um, scenario? Um, I can't. I don't remember. Okay, so can, can you give me a moment? Okay. Okay, let's go back here. Before we read this one, um, do you think it's a good idea to, um, if you are stressed or if you are tired or you're angry, you are going to um, to help someone to relieve your um, to relieve that um, feelings? Mm, I think it's right. Right? Yes. How can you say that? Um, it's right. It's a good thing to do. Yes. How can you say that it is a good thing to do? Because if we're helping others, we will feel it's good. Yes. Okay. Now, okay. Relief is? Relief is passion or reduce it. Next. Extremely self or in interest. Okay, fierce. Um, wait. Okay, um, please, you can repeat the question. Okay, fierce. Fierce. This fierce. Fierce. Extremely severe. Or intense. Next is impulsive. Impulsive. Yeah. Doing things without thinking about the result. Okay, next is coffee break. Short period of time when somebody stops working to eat or drink something. Next is um, dispel. Cause somebody to disappear by R as is by scattering. Random. Or chosen without any design plan. So it's definite. Definite. Plan in our painting. Next is magical. Something a special mysterious party that makes somebody something seem wonderful and exciting. Okay, so now let's move here. Next, it is all about um, this one. Issue number 30. What's wrong with me? Okay, please read this one. I want. I want to be rich. If I fell down, fell on, fell my own, I will try to marry some rich person. Okay, wait. Do you think um it's right? The speaker said that if she are going to fail, she will try to marry some rich person. Do you think um, it's a good idea to use someone to reach um, our goals? I mean, I'm sure that not, it's not good. 
Yes, it's not good. So um, can you give me one reason why um, using someone to achieve our goals is not a good thing or it's not right? Because we have to um, do it on self because it's our goal, but it's not our goal. Yes, because um, it is our responsible to um, to to success, right? Or to to achieve our goals, we have to work hard, right? Yes. Yes, because using someone is not good, right? Yes. yes. The people who are using someone to achieve their goals, like the speaker, the speaker said that um, if she are going to fail, she were she she were going to marry someone rich, right? some rich man so meaning she is lazy right yes, yes. next i think i, I think she is built to two birds with one stone it's within about financial, financial financial security and companionship for me say companionship Companionship for me. I want to be beautiful. I will get a nice job as soon as I can afford it. And one of those operations to get rid of artists is just that the more gorgeous I look. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I look. I can say gorgeous. Gorgeous. I look. The better position I will look. Be into get in society and find the perfect mate. I don't worry about other people. If they take a good care of their own upright, none of us have to worry about them at all. And the other will say who they need help. Probably deserve their fate or either lazy or stupid or both. I just want to be a singer or movie star or maybe a model that way. I will make a lot of money. I won't have to read or study. People will look up to me and envy my success. I'm going to smoke and drink for sure. Others tell us not to do, but they have double standards. They want to keep us from smoking and drinking, but they continue to selfishly enjoy themselves. I think there's much something good about smoking and drinking, or they will do. My parents, my parents impose a curfew on me. I'm a teenager, so I'm old. Not to do whatever I like. Why don't my parents trust me? I don't think it's fair. I want to avoid my. Sorry, military. Military duty if it's possible. I know the time I spend in the army will just be a waste of time, especially at my age. I don't want to waste the best year of my life when I couldn't produce them, them to set myself up for the future. future. Say future. Future. I don't want to live at home anymore. I can't listen to the music I like. I can't have my friend over when, over when, when I want. There's too many restrictions of my lifestyle and I can fight too much with my parents. I need to, to move out so I can be myself. My parents would, would probably have, have be happier if I were going to, because they wouldn't have to worry about so much about me. I want to emerge some... Say, emigrate. Emigrate some of our country like the United States. Canada, United. United States. Canada or Australia, I bet that I wouldn't have more opportunity to develop my potential. Got okay, rich. say potential. Potential get rich and finding understanding mate. Okay, very good. So this is all. Of, so, um, the girl, the speaker is girl, right? Yes. 
Okay, so the speaker said that if I fail on my own, if I fail on my own, so what does the speaker trying to say? She has failed one time because uh, someone will um, fail sometime in life. Okay, so now I have a question. What is the positive value of plastic surgery? Mm, can you translate plastic, plastic surgery on it? Okay. So what is the positive value of plastic surgery? Remember, the speaker wants to um to to undergo a plastic surgery, right? She wants to change or to, she wants to, um, to, to beautiful, right? Yes. So what is the positive value of uh, um, plastic I'm surgery? Um, I think that plastic surgery have um, a good point is, um, they will be more beautiful, but it can be um, dangerous to someone who um, cannot under, understanding how, how hot is plastic sugar. Yes, and maybe she wants to, remember she said that she wants to look beautiful. So maybe um, that is the way to, um, to, be, to be more confident, right? Yes. Yes. Um, she think that um, if she will undergo a plastic surgery, she will be more confident, right? On facing yeah. different people, right? Yeah. And she said that she can do whatever she wants. Mm, I think that's not right. Yes. Okay, what is wrong with serving in the military? Um, Remember the speaker said that um, she doesn't want she doesn't want to serve in military, right? Yes, because she always be um and work in the army is very hard, so she don't want to serve in it. Yes, that's the reason why she doesn't want to serve a military in in military, right? Yes. How about you? Are you willing to serve in military? Mm, I will. If I can. You will if you can. Yes. Remember in Korea, all the boys there are allowed. I think when um it's 35 or 30. I don't know what exactly age of the boy of the man, but um all the boys there will undergo some military training. Yes. Yes. How about in your country? I like to. Um, is to have some um, some military training. Oh, also in Vietnam. Yes. So all the boys are required to undergo a military training. Yes. Yeah. Um, a woman too. A woman too. Um, they always have to study it in college. Oh, so what do you think is the reason why um, women and men are required to undergo some military training? I think that um, maybe it have was so they can um, serve in military. Yes, and um, it's a training, right? It's a way yes. to um, um, to protect yourselves yourself from enemy, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, what are the advantages of child for children when they move away from home? Um, is they can live alone and no no need parents. What else? What are the advantages? Um, is they will know how to gain money and and cooking food. Um, um, study how to live alone in their house. Yes, and they will learn how to be responsible, right? Yes. Okay, um, how about the parents? 
What do the parents gain? Um, the parents is not have to um, take much. Take money to them, and they will be being alone, and um, they will not have need to spend money at their children. Yeah. So, um, do you think it's a good idea to send away your children? Um, enable for them to uh, to learn how to live um themselves or to be responsible. Um, I think it's yes. You think it's yes. Because um, a lot of people grow up and um, it's very older, but they cannot live alone. Yes. Okay. And being alone is um, the children will learn um, house chores, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So almost everybody wants to be rich, right? Yes. Everybody wants to be rich. Most people work hard in their efforts to succeed, but some of the others choose a different route, marrying a rich person or winning a lottery, right? Yes. Okay, what do you think of these people? Mm, what? Um, can you repeat? Okay, um, Mar um everybody wants to be rich right yes yes but some others choose a different way some of the people wants to marry a rich person right or um winning a lottery so what do you think of these people what can you say about uh these people they are lazy and they don't want to earn money by themselves Yes, they are lazy and they don't want to earn money by themselves, right? So what should people do to succeed? Um, they need to work hard to earn money and use it to enter their goal. Yes, they, sh uh, they need to get job and earn money to provide their needs, right? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Do you think your, phys your physical appearance affects your social life? If yes, why? Physical appearance meaning um what you look like. Mm, it's not. Why? Because um a lot of people has differences, physical differences. But okay, they it's, don't... Honey, it's it's perspective, okay? Yes. Um um, a lot of people look um, more different than others, but they can still reach zero. Yes, because people have different perspective, right? Yes. Yes. All we have to do is we have to deal that um, that issue. We have to accept our flaws and be confident, right? Yes. Yes. We don't have to change uh, what we look, right? We don't have to um, undergo yeah. some plastic surgery. All we have to do is we have to um, to ignore others because a lot of people nowadays they are um, criticizing others, but what they look like, which is bad, right? Yes. Okay. Mm, yeah, sometimes they criticize others um, when they not have fault, any fault, but they. The criticize people are have fault too. Yes, you know what? I have a student. She, uh, he is fourteen years old, and uh, our lesson is all about. Um, I think it's all about physical appearance, and I ask him if um, if he is worried about um how he look, and then he answered me that yes, because um he is afraid for being criticized, which is bad, right? Yes. Yes, I, and I, I tell him that um, you should never afraid of being criticized. You, yes. um, all you have to do is you have to ignore those people, right? Yeah. You have to ignore those negative people. Okay, my last question is this one. Okay, for a moment. Why don't young people want to live with their parents anymore, even before they get married? 
why there are teenagers nowadays they don't want to live with their parents anymore. The parents not not allowed like, to do what they want. Yes, because uh, the parents, their parents is not allowing them to do what they want, right? Yes. Okay, so very good, Brennan, and our time is up and we are going to continue our lesson again tomorrow, okay? Okay. And don't forget to read your English book and have fun, Brennan. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.